Hey, welcome back to Let's Chat as we continue here on this Halloween Day Tuesday. Our friend Bruce Garner from the Chattanooga Fire Department joining Hi. us to talk about a couple of things. And we're going to begin with the best way to keep the kids safe as they're trick-or-treating. There are lots of good tips, uh, but there's some real basic ones uh, mm -hmm. that I would offer up. Uh, and that is, you know, this is probably yours, uh, <laughs> Batman mask. Uh, but for little kids, uh, just make sure that these masks fit properly. Right. Um, you know, this is just a simple plastic one. But mm -hmm. if it's too big or whatever, then the eyes aren't going to match up. Yeah. And then you're going to be blind. And why does that matter? Well, you get to, it's a trip hazard then, mm -hmm. or you might wander into the street and get hit by a car. Yeah. So make sure the mask actually fits. You know, before you. Uh, it's you important give them to keep one. your peripheral vision. Absolutely, clear with because the mask at all times. you know it's one of the reason. main ways that, that kids get hurt is through traffic accidents. Mm -hmm. They're sure. getting hit. Yeah. You know, so we want to avoid that. And other kids wearing masks that can't see as well, liable to run into one and well, that too. Yeah, you could that too. The other part that. is, you know, black is a very uh, popular Halloween color. Colors. Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, so that's cool. Um, and this is one I borrowed from somebody, and so I don't even know if it's flame retardant or not. Right. But the idea is, if you're going to go ahead and buy something, mm -hmm. or if you're going to make something, make sure that it's flame retardant, because you're still going to run into people who have candles on their porches and all that. We yeah. recommend LED lights. Absolutely. Stay away from open flames, mm -hmm. but flame retardant. And then also, you know, maybe some reflective tape, something on here so that you don't blend in with the night. This right. is so dark, and, uh, and co combine that sure. with being out at night, and you can't be seen. Yeah. So give them reflective tape, and, and then give them a flashlight, right. and then that way when they're waving this around, then, you know. A lot, lot easier to be detected. Yeah, because you want them to be seen. It's really cool that mm -hmm. you're going to have all sure. these great um, costumes and everything, but for safety-wise, they've got to be seen. And it's also really cool that you guys at the fire department are doing basically a big city-wide open house. Pretty much, yeah. yes, at all 20 fire stations. Mm -hmm. uh, it is tonight from 6 to 8 p.m., all 20 fire stations, and uh, we're going to have some candy. While supplies last, you're going to get some free candy. Right. You can also uh, check out uh, our fire engines. Mm -hmm. you know, take the kids around. The firefighters will let them up into the cab. Yeah. And inspect the fire engine. Talk with the firefighters about their job. Kind of like a show and, and tell for the fire department. It's a show and tell. And, you know, we buy the, the candy uh, from a safe source, so mm -hmm. we know the candy is, is good. Right. We don't do the inspection part because you can't guarantee anything there. Yeah, you just buy the candy. It, it's sad to say that you can't guarantee that inspection anymore. No, like, I hate to say that, well, but, but that's why we buy the yeah, candy sure. so uh, that we can uh, offer it up that way. You, don't, uh, don't blame me a bit. Yes. Uh, you guys at the fire department obviously have got your hands full day in and day out helping keep people safe, but on Halloween, as we have mentioned, Arm the kids with flashlights, and one That's of the right. best defenses is to go along with your children. I think we're past that point where you can just turn a group of kids out and go have at it. I agree, Chip. Now, you know, my kids are grown, uh, and so I don't have to worry about it anymore, but I, I think maybe the best safety thing is simply parental supervision. Yeah, absolutely. Don't just turn them loose and just let them wander around. Even in what you think is a safe neighborhood, even if it's got one way in and one way out. Right. Uh, there are children, so. Yeah, so you can dress them properly, give them flashlights and all that, but mm -hmm. really the, the best thing to do is to go with them. You can hang back sure. so, so that, you know, you don't cramp their style, but the best thing is to be there. Now, you and I would have been mortified to have had our parents go with us on trick-or-treating, but times have changed. They have changed some. I all think right. we have to acknowledge that. And I think even beyond going with the kids, the best thing to do is to go down to one of the fire stations. It's having the open house. Parents, you're going to get a big kick out of seeing the fire engines as well. Bruce Gardner, thank you so thank much. You, we Appreciate will bring it. you back here over the coming weeks and talk about the safety of getting your holiday meals ready. You want to find out more about the Halloween Open House being sponsored by the fire department? You can get in touch with the Chattanooga Fire Department itself, and it begins at 6. Let's